What do you do when you can't fall asleep? My doctor once told me, if you can't sleep and you've been trying for an hour get up and do something else then go back to bed. This is my move. I just get up, go downstairs and start doing chores. Might as well get something done. If I'm not going to get to sleep, I'm making myself more tired by being busy, and I'm not just lying awake in bed tossing and turning. That's so efficient. Roll around in the bed. Flip pillows until it's done. Over easy. Easy over. Over. Easy. Browse Reddit and then make things worse. Personally it helps me. Just make sure to reduce brightness and use night light. It helps me as well. Everyone always says you shouldn't, because screens aren't good for falling asleep I guess. But for me, I use the night light feature on my phone, and browse today I learned my eyes get sleepy, and then I usually pass out. Yay I always read on my phone, just before I fall asleep. Black background with orange littering, and 0% brightness. There is no way too much light is emitted by that setup, and it's perfectly readable. Daydream. Mostly, I like to write stories. So I imagine the whole thing in my head I've been doing so since I was 6. It's the same story too. It just evolves with new characters, places etc. I do this, but with headcanons of whatever particular thing I'm into a video game, a book, a movie etc. It's like fanfiction that never gets written down. I've also had the same stories for different fandoms for many years. And here I thought I was the only one. I thought I'd stop because it was too childish. But I decided it helped improve my creative thinking. Cuddle a plush toy. People can judge all they want. But I've never slept so easily or so well. Started doing this again a month ago cannot stop. I feel lonely. Just attach flashlight to your plush toy. Looks around. Arms raised. Yes. This. My ultimate trick to fall asleep when I can't. I raise both arms fully straight into the air and then stare at the ceiling and try not to blink. Eventually your arms get heavy and this way and your eyes droop and then you just keep pushing and trying to maintain it and eventually after several minutes you just feel super tired and your eyes want to shut and your arms fall down and that's when you turn over and go to sleep. I'm trying this tonight. Don't accidentally punch yourself. Or if you do punch yourself make it a good one. Enough to knock yourself out. Mission accomplished. A tactic I use is to close my eyes and imagine a scenario or fantasy that I have. Most of the time it's shit like what I would do if I had the power to control time and who I'd duck over with it. Or I'd think up other scenarios like how I'd rob a bank and shit. Once you get into it, you end up falling asleep. Link. I feel like I naturally start visualizing when I'm about to sleep, and occasionally something really vivid pops up and startles me into being wide awake. Falls off building. That has an actual name, but I forgot what it was called. Count the exact amount of time I have left until I have to get up. Goes like this. Okay. It's 3.29 am. I have to get up at 7. If I fall asleep in the next 5 minutes I can get 3 hours and 26 minutes of sleep. I don't recommend it. I count from 100 to 1. If that doesn't work, I think of a verb, noun and an adjective for every alphabet. And if that doesn't work I just give up and stay awake until the right hour of 4am. Hey I, I do that too. Sometimes I end up counting to 100 a few times, but it seems to keep my thoughts from wandering. If not that. I'll name three types of food or animal alphabetically. I count backwards from 300 by threes. 300, 297, 294 it helps occupy your mind just enough to keep your thoughts from wandering. But it's mundane enough to not make you more awake. I've been using this trick for years and I've only reached the end a couple of times. It also helps to start with a different number every now and then so you don't get too used to the sequence and you don't get distracted. That's amazing. I don't think I've ever got to 10 sheep when counting sheep before my mind drifts. You gotta force your mind to stay on task. Make the sheep different colors. That one has a notched ear. That one pooped. That one has a fly on its nose. Now I own a sheep salon in my vision. Great. Take a deep breath. Hold it for about 5-8 seconds. 
then slowly let it out. As I breath out, I relax all of my muscles and feel my body sink into my bed. I do this 3, 5 times to fully relax. If that does not work, the eventually, I will get up and watch TV for a bit till I'm extremely tired. Take a deep breath. Hold it for 3, 5 minutes. Wake up feeling refreshed. Masturbate. I don't know why, but that does help you go to sleep. I guess the extensive effort followed by the calming release tired you and relieves you to sleep. Well it gives you a massive release of prolactin which is a hormone that makes you tired and puts you into recovery mode rather than fight flight. My preference is a body scan meditation. Stop thinking about sleeping. How tired you are. What you have to do the next day. Instead try focusing on your legs. How they feel in your bed. Feel their heaviness. Continue with your feet and ever part of your body until you get to the top of your skull. The other thing I used to use all the time was Michael Seeley guided meditation and sleep hypnosis on YouTube. He has video that are hours in length and I found them very helpful. Link. Best way for me too. But sometimes just a nice background sound does the trick. Some semi white noise. Like beach sounds. Read. Somehow. Reading is both really effective at quieting my mind and making me feel semi-rested. I've read until like 3 and woke up at 9 feeling better than if I got a solid 7, 8 hours of sleep. This would never work for me. Once I start reading and get into it almost every time, I could be up till dawn. Same. I love reading at night before bed when the world is quiet and I'm the only one up. But it's so risky that I can only do it when I don't have to get up early the next day. Because I can. And I will read until the exciting parts are over which is the end of the book. Read our funny that shit puts me to sleep. Pretending to be asleep. Slow deep breaths. Eyes closed. Relax all muscles. Concentrate on the breathing. Usually when I can't sleep it's because I'm not exhausted enough and my anxiety is acting up. I usually up doing sit ups and push ups until I'm tired enough to sleep. For me it's the opposite. This gives me energy. Listen to ASMR or a story. Put on a movie I've seen a million times. Smoke a bowl. Scroll on my phone. Think about the 1000 ways I could suddenly die. So one trick I do when I have bouts of insomnia is find something, usually a slow pace mobile game, that I will play and only play it until I fall asleep. I will only play the game at this time, so I train my mind to know when I play it. It's time to sleep. Sometimes it's so effective I'll turn on the game and instantly feel so tired I just turn it off and fall asleep. Phone on night mode. Right now it's Plague Incorporated. Pav loves nap time. It's so real. My parents used to give us time to read before bed. Like 30 minutes a night let's say. It was called red down time and we would just all sorta of crawl in. Wind down and be knocked out relatively soon. It was awesome. Until I became an adult back in school and grad school. And kept falling asleep after 30 minutes of reading. It was the deepest conditioning I think I've ever had. Usually I sweat in bed in the summer, like now in North America I usually roll to the very edge of my bed where nothing touches, and most of the time, it's cold. I wait there until my base point on the bed has the same cool feeling. I try to imagine myself in a scenario, but with like super specific rules, to keep myself thinking I mostly think of a superpower I'd want, and then give it an earth for weakness, and try to work around it. I also think whether it would be used for combative purposes or if I just have a power to go with my everyday life. This usually keeps me busy till I fall asleep. I might have a technique that can help you out without taking any medication. When having a hard time sleeping, I place my hand on top of my forehead with my hand facing the ceiling. This sounds weird, but it works for me and I don't know why. You're experiencing it right now. Start daydreaming until it snowballs into an actual dream and bam. Asleep. I mentally walk through something that is calming. In my case. That is flying a plane. In my mind. I walk out to the plane. Carrying my flight bag. As I get to the plane. I set down my flight bag. Unlock the door. Climb up. Put the key on the dash. 
Enable the battery, set the basic lights, and then climb down, and start the walk around. After that, I get my kneeboard out, put the flight bag in the back, climb back up, turn off the lights, and start the preflight checklist. After that, I open the window, shout, clear, and start the engine. Then, I request permission to taxi to the runway, taxi over to run up, check the engines, taxi in line, request a key off clearance, and head into the skies. Much of this is theoretical, as I rarely make it through the entire preflight checklist. Flying a plane is the most calming thing I know. Go down the alphabet, and for every letter, think of three words. Any words that begin with that letter, one word per breath. I've never gotten to the end. Have a wank. Masturbating usually helps. I get in arguments on Reddit. Listen to an audiobook or podcast, not the best thing to do, but I find that it makes good use of my time while simultaneously letting me rest my eyes. When I read a book at night, my eyes are still straining and the light source does not let me sleep for longer, but audiobooks let me turn off the light and close my eyes. I usually fall asleep within half an hour. Just remember to set the sleep timer on the audiobook app though. Die inside. Slowly and painfully. Listen to rain sounds. I generally just stay awake. I usually just let my brain wander. During the day I have to try hard to keep my brain from thinking about random things and getting wildly off topic. But at night, I just stop trying to control my train of thought and eventually I fall asleep. It's kinda like removing a barrier and letting myself finally relax. Allowing my brain to wander like that is very relaxing. But if I do it during the day, it usually makes things crazy and hectic for a minute or two while I focus on getting my train of thought back on topic. Sometimes I catch myself starting random conversations because I already rationalized them in my head and I always find it so funny. Be awake. Open Reddit. Damn it. It's already morning. I take 5 milligrams of melatonin. I don't get how this is so low. Take off all the covers and then I eventually get cold. Once I get under the warm sheets again it feels really nice and it makes me sleepy. That mixed with a good sleeping position is key. Spark a bowl. Okay my golden grahams are burnt. Now what? Leave my bed and do stuff until I'm actually tired. I put on my airpods on and play relaxing rain sounds for deep sleep on spotify. Basically sounds of rain pouring and gentle thunders in between. Does the job. I go outside and stargaze a bit. Maybe take a couple edit melatonin and not melanin oops. Gummies or browse reddit every so often think about the work I'm procrastinating on. I pick an object in my room, like the lamp or door handle, and stare really intensely at it while consciously making sure my eyes are fully open. After a few minutes, it becomes impossible to keep my eyes open, and I fall asleep. Well you generally can't sleep without pretending to be asleep, so I usually slow my breathing which slows heart rates to their same sort of rhythm when you're half asleep or just waking up. Or if I'm overthinking life I put on some music, so I'm focusing on that rather than whatever thoughts are keeping me awake. Read Wikipedia articles on my phone the Wikipedia app has a dark mode which is really nice. I recommend checking out the articles on the 7 wonders of the world. Superorganisms, immortality, time travel in fiction, the Iranian revolution, and the list of paradoxes as starting points. Keep your eyes fixed in the dark on one spot. Don't blind for as long as you can and don't move for as long as you can. If you blink start over, eventually it will be so hard to keep them open and boom you're out. Concentrate on breath. Whenever I start to think about something else I think no and go back to just concentrating about breathing. I used to have fantasies about all kinds of stuff, but that would keep me awake. Play games. Watch some stuff on the YouTubes and maybe watch the sunrise. Over the years, I thought it would be nice to use the time productively, but I almost never do, especially now that there are other people in the house. Clanking dishes at 4am make the somniacs cranky. 
count sheep. Really? And they're all smiling. I start overthinking and try not to cry. I should really get some sleeping pills.